Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to a brand new Karad Play series. Today, we're checking out Eight Doors, Aram's Afterlife Adventure. Aram's Afterlife Adventure. Aram's Afterlife Adventure. Say that as many times as you can, fast. Um, it's actually not too bad of a tongue twister, even though it kind of looks like it up front. Anyway, let's jump into it. Um, Eight Doors was recently on sale on Steam, and uh, a good friend of mine had recommended it because they knew that I'm into this genre, which is Metroidvania um, 100%. I played around with it just to have a look and see if it was something for me, and by golly, it is super cool. So, we're going to start with a brand new game today, kind of do an episode zero of the initial story and uh, the first couple things, and go from there. And we'll, uh, if we really have a good time with it, we'll see where the game takes us with, uh, with some more episodes. So, let's dive right in. So, as soon as you load the game, you're brought to this screen, well, not this screen, sorry, this screen here, where you have your start and settings and all that kind of stuff. I was just checking out my settings to make sure that audio was good in here um, and whatnot. So controller settings are pretty straightforward. Um, they teach you everything as you go through the, the first you know several minutes of the game. So pretty cool. So we don't really need to worry too much about anything here, but it's nice that they do have a nice controller settings space. And of course we have our audio and all that great stuff here. So I'll be playing on my Xbox controller like I usually do with games like this. Uh, without further ado, Let's start a brand new game. And I'm not going to do anything crazy. Well, actually, there's only two options. There's story or normal. I'm going to stick with normal. See how it goes. So be warned, there, there's a little bit of storytelling up front here. So they kind of set the, the, the pace for the game here. So there's not too much gameplay in the first couple minutes. Let's watch. The art style is beautiful and if the the intro music or the uh the main screen music and this intro music here is also just beautiful mysterious deaths heart attacks with no found cause the lone surviving girl in town she's holding a picture of her daddy she's crying Pictures of two guys, the guys that she just walked up to. Here they are. I love the ah, oh, the it's the aesthetic of all this is just beautiful. We've arrived. Oh. Are you having second thoughts? There's no time for that. Dive in. Hey, what are you? Mm. <laughs> Love it. Coming to the land of the dead on her own? That's interesting. Aram, was it? Good luck. The ambient sounds are really nice. They're top notch too. So let's see what we gotta do. Uh -oh. So, they never stop coming. Huh? What are you doing here? You're in search of your father? Death is inevitable. This is no place for you. Go back to where you belong. 
you are an annoyance. Head to the Death Tavern and search there. Can't help you anymore. Take these if you need them. Well then. Alright, dude. We'll be seeing you again, I assume. What do we got? Oh, so there are two types of jumps. There's just your standard little tap jump, and then if you hold, you get a higher jump. So here's the tap jump, and there's the higher jump, tap jump, higher jump. Pretty cool. Pretty straightforward stuff. The longer you hold, the higher you go. And attack is just X. And the more that you attack, just simple combos kind of deal. And there's our first baddie. Yeah. Press B went to use potions. Potions seem to um, seem to replenish at like save points and stuff like that. All right, and then pretty simple platformer way of getting through these areas. Just drop down into like through um, through like different things. Just hold down an A. And then an open chest, you've got to beat him, which is kind of interesting. Got a little money out of that. And we resume by using our thingy to break stones. You croak. Ribbit. A specter. Wait, what? You're no specter. Did you come here alone? Ribbit. Yeah. I don't really know what he's saying there. What? How? For real? That's nonsense. I must be dreaming. Oh my, this is surreal. To meet a living person here, in the purgatory? What? You're here to find your father. Hmm. Hmm. Can't believe I'm doing this, but... Ribbit. I'll guide you to the Death Tavern. Ribbit. My name is Ducroak. The most merciful being in the purgatory you'll ever find. Many know me as the faithful Ducroak. Ribbit. You were fortunate to have met me, Ribbit. Now that you're with me, just follow my lead, Ribbit. The first place spirits visit is in the purgatory is the Death Tavern. There you'll be able to find the whereabouts of your father. Alright, so pretty straightforward. Got a map that we uh, that we pull up with equivalent of select or menu and nothing too fancy to show you there all right so there's a roll mechanic that uh that's pretty cool for dodging and uh, dodging through enemy projectiles and enemies um as well as um environments like this so we just roll through those we can roll through those guys if we really want to but i just like hitting them although here you go see Pretty cool. But you stop them in their tracks when, when you attack them. And yeah, yeah. You don't normally need to um, roll through them, but it's cool that you can. Okay. Um, nothing up here, so we go to the right. Whoa. Wee. I love that. Ducroak is just riding on her head <laughs> crispy i don't know who crispy is life is shorter and death is longer than you'd think how would you like to cease to exist um it's an odd question to ask but oh no oh jeez gotta jump properly there oh you can jump or um jump over or roll through their projectiles oh wait um there was something here i think yeah so pretty cool there's obviously there's like the potential for like hidden doorways and stuff like that so you gotta in true metroidvania fashion gotta be looking for those kind of things oh no i'm usually more of a jumper than a than a dodger slash roller when when presented with the option Ooh. So we can't get up here yet, but we will see. We will figure out how to get there eventually. 
got our roly pals here. Very nice, very easy. Drop all the way down. We got we gotta fight all three of these guys at the same time. Oh, oh jeez. What am I doing? <laughs> oh man, I almost killed myself there by messing around. Alright. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this. Gaiul? I don't know. We'll go with Gaiul. Blessings to you who has found this place. Dawn of Death Guardian. The essence of extinct guardians of death. Pray to them to acquire their power and learn a new skill. So this is where kind of like talents come into play. Um, and how you can level up, essentially. You get new abilities and whatnot. So Ducroak says, I can use my power to expand my body to Duoxini, Duoxini form, for a bit. Once I'm in my Duoxini form, moving that boulder will be a piece of cake. All right, so the first um, thing is power of Duoxini. Obtain, easy peasy. All right, and then we need to, you just press right trigger and you get to ride around on him, he's a giant frog. Look at him run. And you just right trigger to kind of like alternate between it. That's him dashing. Isn't that amazing? Uh, I love it. And then you just push boulders like this, which is what we're going to need to do to get through uh, to go when we go back. So finally reached where I can stop running. Hooray. Look at him run. <laughs> I don't want him to ever stop running. It's amazing. Boing, boing, boing. So we needed to get this so that we could actually go back. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to. And then we just need to... We can't attack while we're on him, so... We gotta... Oh, um, is there a rock here? I can't remember. Can we get up there? Oh, yeah. I know now. My memory's so bad. I just did this the other day. Um... Like I said, I, I played the first little bit just to see if this was something I was going to enjoy. Um, so the first episode won't be really blind because I've done this once, but everything after this will be. All right. Tuska Barrier. Jung Tu Young. Pained a Dawn of Death Guardian. Um, okay, so we pull up our perks through the pause menu. And now we can pick either... Well, either. We have two paths that we can pick from, either Reaper or Pathfinder. Um, I kind of like the idea of... There's there's a few, and I'm sure that there's there's probably, like, optimals that you can do, um, or pick. I like... Um, I don't know what Essence of Sin is yet. I haven't figured that part out. But I like the idea of having an extra potion, so let's do that. I have no idea if there's an optimal way of doing any of this, but we'll take an extra potion. Why not? Okay, so let's cross up here. See what's up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the the art in this, where it's like lots of like grays and whites, um, and then all the splashes of red just really give this um, a really cool aesthetic. Really interesting kind of art style. I love it. And it all plays really well together with the the music, the ambiance that they're, that they're setting. It's just it's, it's beautiful. Oh ho ho! How did you find this place? Jung ho? Jung ho? I'm not really good with um, figuring out how to pronounce things. Oh, you came to the purgatory alone, right? Ho ho! You are certainly an interesting one. I travel through the purgatory and draw maps. Nothing beats the excitement of adventure. Not sure how you got here, but do find me if you need geographical information. I'll give you everything I know. Ho ho. Okay. Well, let's buy. So this is very much like Hollow Knight where you had Cornifer to... Um, if you played Hollow Knight, obviously, you had the map maker. Uh, it looks like this guy will be in, in new areas that you go to. And you'll be able to buy maps from him. Kingdom of Yama map. We'll buy that. And now, 
if we pull up our map here, it's got part of it showing anyway. Cool. And that's all he has for us for now. Let's pull up um, Duoxini. Duoxini form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me my money. Where's my money going? Why'd it go all the way down here? Back up we go. Spit. Oh, jeez. I think I made that mistake this time, too. <laughs> uh, it looked like I was, like, low enough where it wouldn't... It wouldn't hit me with its spit. Uh, oh, no. Nope. Jump back up. As much as I love these games, I'm not terribly great at them, usually. <laughs> up here. Dorian, hope your soul will be safe. Thanks, Dorian. Whee. Oh, did, did I miss something? Was there somewhere that I didn't go? I think there is. Well, oh. Spectres, those who are lost, come with me. Together, we make a new world. Mertley. Let's go, Mertley. Ooh. Oh, jeez. You can't dash in the air. I just figured that out. I've never tried before. This is kind of like your first boss, I guess. It's pretty neat. It's a bit of a long fight. At least I found it was long my, uh, my first go at this. You got a bit of a pause between your dashes. Pop a potion, pop another one. Since we've already taken a few hits. He's got a couple movesets, uh, and then there's like a phase two, or like a... Yeah, here we go. Or like an enraged phase. Oh, jeez. I've already forgotten what he does. Ah. Ow! Pop potion! Oh! Jeez, forgot. I, I, I've already forgotten everything that he does. This is like a brand new fight for me. <laughs> ah! Oh. That was, that was actually just luck. Oh my gosh. Oh, we got him! Okay, that wasn't as long as I remember it. I think the first time I tried that, um, the first time I tried that, there was a lot of, like, downtime, like, not downtime, but, like, me avoiding him, trying to, like, figure him out. I was a little more aggressive on that, on that go. All right, um, where do we want to go? Up or down? I don't, I don't know. Well, let's, let's check out down here. What's over? Oh, no, actually, we'll come back this way. Or I think we will anyway. Just in the interest of time, we'll move on down this way. Check this guy out. Kiddo is this, is their name. Stop. This is the world for the dead. You're a living person. Why did you come to the purgatory? Hmm. It's reckless of you to come all the way here. Death is ine inevitable. You can't change fate, even if you do manage to find your father's soul. I hope you won't regret your choice. Hmm, my sword is reacting violently today. Let's ask about that. It's you. You're the one that my sword is responding to. That's odd. Well, it's either one of the two. It likes you, or wants to eradicate you. I hope it likes me. Uh, patrol. Did something happen to you on your way here? I did hear sinful cries of specters nearby. You seem all right. Thanks. I feel all right. Welcome to Death Tavern. There's a dude out here. Um, Deller. Yes. Hmm. You're new, right? Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm only here to sell my items. Hey, safety comes first when you're traveling the purgatory. Why not buy my items? You'll be sorry if you don't. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll give you a special discount, so come by any time. <laughs> all right, dude. 
What do you get? So right now we don't really have much money, or actually enough to buy anything, but we can upgrade our potions. Um, this stuff I'm not really sure about yet, but we'll figure it out. Cool. All right, let's go into Death Tavern. This guy's like playing on a DS or something. His name's Clap. Ah! Oh man, I was so close. Was I playing for too long? I see a living person. Hmm? Ah! Oh my, you're real. You came to the purgatory alone? That can't be. A living person can't come to the purgatory alone. What? You were looking for a soul? Look at her face. I love it. Looking for a soul? What are you talking about? Uh, all right, calm down. Calm yourself. She she hasn't moved or done anything, dude. She's just blinking at you. Hmm. I I can't calm down. Yeah, you need to calm down. That's right. First of all, go ask the master of the Death Tavern. Sudden rush of souls, and now a living person in purgatory? What is going on? Oh, okay. So he doesn't have multiple things to say to me. So I don't really know... Oh, can we just jump up here? Okay. Uh, well, we're not going to go up there right now. We're going to go talk to the Tavern Master. Here to sign up your soul. You croak. What's going on? But, ma'am, I can explain. Look, he's shaking. So your father and town villagers suddenly died. And you come to the purgatory to find your father. Ha! Ha 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 ha. Death is inevitable, little one. Yes, we're hearing that a lot. Every human dies eventually. It's amusing that you came to the purgatory alone for such a reason. Well, since you're here, the least I can do is check. Hmm. Huh. Girl, are you sure your father is dead? That's odd. His soul never stopped by. What a hassle. Hey, you. I don't intend to stop you from finding your father's soul. But I can't help stop what I'm doing here just to find one lost soul. Can't help stop. I think it's... That doesn't read right. Anyway. This means you'll have to find him yourself. Are you sure you're up to this? Uh, well, it's the whole reason I'm here. So yeah. Be careful. You croak. Hurry bit. Go to the observation deck with her. I I'm afraid I'm too busy. What do you mean? You're helping me, dude. So you have chosen death. I'm sorry. I'll get right on it, ma'am. Ribbit. Listen carefully. Oh, no. He's speaking. First, visit the observa observation deck and ask where your father's soul is. If he's dead, you should be able to find his soul somewhere in the purgatory. After you've located him, you can go and find him. From now on, you'll travel around the purgatory as a temporary guardian of death. Now go. Guardian of Death nameplate. Uh, nameplate proves that the holder is a guardian of death. A gourd, a gourd that absorbs sin from your enemies. You can use the acquired sin energy to use skills. Okay, so it's like mana, I guess. Uh, the thurible. A thurible you can use to store fugitive souls. I don't know. I've never heard the term thurible before. Interesting. Okay. Let's talk to this guy. He looks cool. A living person. Chubbies. Chubbis? Chubbis. Chubbis. Chubbies. We're going to call him Chubbies. Let's go with that. Wow, he came to the purgatory alone? It's the first time since that person. How did you get here? Do you have special powers? Where is this place? Ah, this is the Death Tavern, where souls stay a night before their trials begin. Recently, we've been swamped with so many souls coming in. Too much work, and we are understaffed. Anyway, please enjoy your stay at the Death Tavern. Oh, I will. I will, Chubbies. Faith. Hmm? Look at the smiley face. I love it. You. You? No. This can't be. How are you here? What? You came to the purgatory to find your father. That makes no sense. The living can't cross the border of the dead. This can't be real. I must be dreaming. All right. You there. How dare you ignore me? The guard of the death tavern. Where the heck are you from? 
Huh, kids these days. Don't you know basic manners and respect? Hmm? Wait, are you from the land of the living? Came looking for your father. Ha, that's a brave girl. I like your confidence. Girl, there must be a lot of things that you don't about this world. I think we're uh, we're, we're going to encounter some translation issues. I guess I don't know where where this what language this was originally written in, but I feel like there's some translation issues where we're like we're missing words or or whatnot or writing issues, whatever. Come find me if you need anything. I'll tell you everything I know. Will you now? Anything you want to know in particular? Well, yeah. Let's let's learn more about the Death Tavern. The Death Tavern was built souls. Built buy souls to stay there one final night before their trial. Of course, nowadays it's used for multiple purposes, such as a rest area for guardians of death. The Death Tavern has a total of six floors. If you have time, why not take a look around? It won't be easy to go up, though. Ha ha ha. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, I want to know about guardians of death. There are three types of guardians of death. The Reaper, the Pathfinder, and the Messenger. Ah, those are the three, uh, the three, the three paths, the three, um, the three, like, talent trees. The Reaper brings souls on the list from the land of the living to the purgatory. The Pathfinder then takes over and leads them from the tavern to the courthouse. The messenger handles various other jobs needed here in the purgatory. They capture fugitive souls, deliver information, and explore the purgatory. If you could choose, which guardian of death would you choose to be? Ooh, that's a good question. What about you guys? Which one would you choose? Insert obligatory drop drop a comment down below and let me know. See, I'm becoming a real YouTuber. I'm like doing all the things that YouTubers do. Uh, let's find out about Purgatory. The land of the living is where those who are alive reside. Purgatory is where souls come once they're dead. The reason why everyone is stunned when they see you is because you belong in the land of the living, not here. Do you have special powers of some kind? You'll never know. Do we want to go in here or do we want to go up? What's in here? Let's find out. Um, oh, th we're back. We're back outside? Yeah, I guess we're back outside. Um, so new objective, go to the observatory and find out if your father's soul is being seen in purgatory. Let's go check out what's in the various floors. So we're on floor two. Ah, no, we drop back down. No fall damage, at least. That's a good thing. At least not from that height. Hmm. What? What is that up there? That's like... I don't think we can get across there, can we? Ah! Fell down again. Alright, third time's a charm. Let's go see what this guy in the red coat's got to say. Uh, KB? How did you get here? You're searching for your father. You expect me to believe that. Still can't believe you're actually here. There are specters everywhere outside the purgatory right now. You won't even be able to walk, let alone find your father. I'm sorry, but you must go back to where you belong. I'm saying this for you. You're not my dad. Who are you? Chorum? Well, what? You, stay away from me. I warned you, stay away. Specters are causing me enough trouble, and now a living person? Stay away from me. Okay. Heard you the first time. Um, can we go up any further? I think that's all we can do right now. Really? Okay. Well, I thought there might be more, like, stuff to do in here. Oh, what's this guy? Gatekeeper, my liege, for the purgatory's glory. Uh, okay. Cool. What is that? Stone Mountain. Weapon skill. Press Y to use up Sin Energy to use a skill. Each weapon has its own skill. Oh, so we get different weapons. Cool. Some weapon skills are necessary to progress through the Purgatory. Okay, so there's a Metroidvania aspect to it right there. Recover Sin Energy by absorbing it, by killing specters, or by resting at the tavern or tombstones. Are you, are you a bad guy? No, you're not. Fugitive Soul. Okay. Go away! I didn't do anything wrong. You died. I died. We all died. This world will fall. 
I, I'm sorry, so sorry. Give me one, one more chance. Okay. I don't know what they're talking about. Ooh, that's like a zombie or something. Oh, okay. So those are the obligatory, like, dis disappearing platforms after you step on them that most Metroidvanias end up having. But what's this guy? Four eyes and a, like, serrated sword? Ooh. Got him. Okay. Um, let's jump down or drop down and see what's down here. I'll jump down. We do. Oh, that looks like it. We need like a block or something here. I guess. Okay. There's probably one up top somewhere that we'll be able to bring down. Maybe. Um. Oh, and by the way, this is I'm now at the blind stage. I don't know where I am here. Underwater. Underwater. <laughs> Underwater. Underground waterway. Oh, my God. Um, not the only, the game isn't the only thing that's, um, I can't do English, apparently. Alright, so, oh, what's this guy? Ugh. Got him. Okay, so we gotta, maybe work on our rolling a little there. Ah, there's a rock. Oh. Boing. I love the sound effect for him, too. Boing. Wee. Okay. Let's drop this in here. What do we got? Ooh, a book. What's it? Discarded books. Voluntary Traveler of Death. The land of the living and the purgatory used to be interconnected, and people could move freely between the two realms. But greed from the people of the land of the living blocked the pathway to the purgatory. And nobody could freely come to the purgatory anymore. The realms were divided, and for a long time, no one came to the purgatory. Time passed, and came people that could travel to the purgatory. Only few qualified people were able to do so. The souls of the purgatory called them voluntary travelers of death. Okay. Cool. Okay, so I don't really want to go into that underwater... Underwater? Darn it! <laughs> Underground waterway. Um, I'm going to stick with this for now. Was there anything else up here that I missed? No. Okay. And then we'll drop back onto this, hop over onto here. We'll see what's up top here. I don't know what that is. What is that? I, okay. I don't know what I just did, but cool. Okay. Let's drop onto here. Drop onto this and up here we go. Hop to D, hop, and hop some more, and yeah. Alright. I feel like I'm starting to get a good feel for the uh, the controls so far. It, like, it, it feels good. Like, the... This feels like a really good... Oh, jeez. Dude. Uncalled for. Uncool, even. Use a potion. Yeah, like, it, it feels like a good platformer. It's got... It's got the right, oh, um, it's got the, the right, like, amount of jumping and all that kind of stuff, and it just, it feels, oh, oh, what, what's it doing? Ah. I don't know what that thing did, but I think we gotta, like, beat it up. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, smack me upside my head. All right, can we get across there? I don't, we, I don't think we can make that. We can't make that jump. The observatory already? Wow. Okay. So there was a way back in that other room to go up, but we'll just check this out. And this is where we'll probably end episode zero. I think that was a good intro. What are those little guys doing? Um, Oxy. Bring me the record of the unobserved souls now. E yes. Hey, dude. You know what? Okay, before we do anything here, um, this is where we'll pick up next time. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll read this next time I said... No. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching our first episode of Eight Doors, Aram's Afterlife Adventure. Uh, like I was saying, the, the controls feel really nice. 
the art is beautiful the music's nice sure there might be some things that aren't probably translated or written i'll have to do some research on that and maybe i'll let you know in the next episode um what the original language was if there if that was the case or if it's just not great writing but other than that everything is like feels really good so far they do a good job of really laying out this whole you know land of the living versus purgatory thing and 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 whatnot um really interesting colorful characters all in all this feels like a really good fun game i'm looking forward to diving into it um a little bit more with you guys let me know what you guys think um have you played this or or how, how do you feel um so far after the first 30 minutes of play and yeah if there's anything else like this game that you that you think i'd like to try let me know in the comments down below um what i'll do is i'll um over here i'll link the the full playlist so as i add more um more chapters or more episodes rather they'll all be there for you um and if you haven't already make sure you check out my infernax playthrough while i didn't 100 percent the game i did i did beat it um and there's 17 18 episodes there a couple short episodes but mostly all of them around 30 minutes in length infernax was another great metroidvania game and uh highly recommend that you check that out so if you uh if you liked what you saw uh feel free to leave me a like and uh drop a sub too help me out i uh really want to get into doing some more youtube stuff and your uh your engagement or interaction with these videos will help me a lot so that being said thank you again for watching Karad plays Eight Doors. Until next time, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and take care of those around you. Appreciate you all. Bye.